Woo. That was cold. It mm. was. Hello and welcome to Dino One, the food review show for the 901. I'm your host, Justin. And I'm your co-host, Jaren. What's up guys? We are here at Sean's Cafe. Yeah, located on Union right across from the Arts Center. Today we have a special guest. Special guest. Why don't we just let her tell us who she is? Hi, I'm Robbie Good. I'm the Director of Talent Retention at the New Memphis Institute, which is a local nonprofit that uh, helps to attract and retain and activate and develop great people and leaders in the city of Memphis. Uh, we believe that strong cities rely on strong people, and so that's why we invest in our residents. Awesome. Awesome. So, how long have you been in Memphis? I'm actually a native Memphian. I was born here at the Med, now known as Regional One. Um, but then I lived uh, away from the city for about 20 years and moved back about three years ago, three and a half years ago, and I'm so glad I'm back. Awesome, awesome. Well, glad you're back. Glad yes, you're back. absolutely glad you're back. So, Robbie, let's not waste no time. Let's just dive right on into the Yeah. Room. Right here we have hummus, tzatziki, and baba ganoush with no preservatives. And it's all based in olive oil. With a little tahini mixed into some of them. And we're gonna top it with some pita bread. Delicious. All right, so what we have here is a trio of dips. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna talk about is the tzatziki sauce. <laughs> this is the one with the yogurt. I don't know if you can see that. Now yogurt is homemade here in this restaurant. Um, but I loved it. Like I. I get a big spoon of it and slather it all over the pita and just eat it. And so, it's dairy free, right? And it's dairy free. Yogurt that's dairy free. So this place, Ricky, is all about eating good, eating healthy. And so like, I would recommend this to anybody who, if you, even if you've never tasted tzatziki before, if you don't like yogurt, come and try it out and say, hey, the guy from Dino wants to have to try it out. <laughs> right here, we got some delicious hummus. Came with a little cucumber and olive on top, and it's really good. I mean, I judge most hummuses by whether or not I would want to buy them at the store when I'm eating them at a restaurant, that is, and I would want to buy this at the store and just have it at the house. Um, not too salty, not too lemony, not too olive oily. It's just like right the right amount of all those ingredients together. Little hint of garlic, mm -hmm. and it's really good. So, the appetizer I had was the baba ganoush, okay? Mm -hmm. Now this is an eggplant base mixed with a little olive oil, probably some virgin olive oil, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, this is pretty good. Um, it kind of reminded me of uh, guacamole, uh, and I don't even like guacamole. And uh, But this kind of like tastes like a seasoned guacamole with like a little Mediterranean feel in it. And you know, I think it, I think it was okay. You know, uh, I would try it again. We got uh, we got the combination platter here of the uh, chicken kebab and the lamb. Uh, it's going to be with a tzatziki on the side. The other side's going to have the scordalia and the tzatziki. Goes really nicely with the chicken. Sautéed veggies in the middle uh, with the fabulous seasoning as well. And the tzatziki, uh, the zucchini fries with the buttermilk ranch. Then we have the uh, swordfish platter. Uh, it's going to be tossed with some jerk seasoning uh, and some fish off with a peach and mango salsa. Uh, some tomatoes and red onions as well with the falafel on the side, uh, with the tahini sauce, and the biryani, which is an uh, excellent, excellent dish as well. It's gonna, be, it's gonna consist of like vegetables and potatoes, maybe with some lemon and olive oil. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, we have the uh, portobello mushroom, uh, Robbie, my bella. Robbie, you wanna drop the top a little bit for us? To do what? You want to lift it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we have the uh, portobello mushroom, it's gonna be with some avocado, uh, red onions, grilled red onions, uh, Swiss cheese, and uh, marinated in soy sauce, rosemary, balsamic vinegars, uh, and Montreal 60. So, Sean's Cafe was a treat, mm. to say the least. Delicious. So, Jan, what you thinking, man? Man, why don't we just start with Robbie? Robbie, tell us what you ate and what you thought about it. Well, it was all amazing. I, uh, I had the Ringabella burger. <laughs> 
okay. that was a portobello mushroom burger with some awesome seasoning, some balsamic vinegar. I know, yep, there are lots of that. And then some roasted red onion, avocado, tomatoes, maybe some like spinach um, or some mixed greens. It was delicious. Um, I'm a vegetarian and you know, it, uh, it helped me not miss meat a little bit better. Um, no, I don't miss meat too much, but it was still really good. Um, and then I had some California sauteed vegetables. Let's see if you can get in there. Delicious, um, proprietary. Uh, seasoning on it, as I, as, as Rick told me um, yes. when I asked him, uh, got a little bite, um, but still really fresh. Vegetables are crunchy. Um, it'd be perfect for on pita, off pita, Ooh. just by itself. It was delicious. And then we all enjoy the zucchini fries. Yeah, um, zucchini fries, bomb diggity. They were amazing. Yeah, of course um, it's fried. Of course we wouldn't. But it was like lightly fried, right? Yeah. It was like it was healthy. It yeah. was a little crunchy zucchini, just you know, heated just enough. Um, with some panko breadcrumbs on the outside, tempura batter, he was telling yeah, us. Yeah. And again, like his own little spice mixed yeah. in there. Um, and had, had some like buttermilk dipping sauce, was delicious. Though, honestly, I dipped it still in the tzatziki because um, we had that as the appetizer and I, I couldn't get enough. So. <laughs> when I dip, you dip, we dip. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Would you dance? Yeah. Well, you got to put your hands on your hip. <laughs> you got to do it. Yeah. All right, so, so I had. So, yeah. Robbie, what you think of it? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I loved it all, all three of them, and I love the restaurant. I would come back here in a heartbeat. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah, what about you? All right, well, I had the lamb kebab mm. and the chicken kebab. Mm. And uh, because my memory is like Dory, you have to go see that movie. <laughs> uh, I have to eat it and taste it for y'all. Let's see. Again, chicken's moist, not dry. Even after a while, it's still moist. It's packed with seasoning. But it's not overpowering. Mm. And it has a really nice chicken taste. And it, when I say chicken taste, I mean like, it tastes like a chicken. Chicken. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So he hit that one on the mark. All right, then the lamb. Lemon seasoned really well, too. Mm. Mediterranean food is just seasoned well. Mm. Um, a little bit kind of tough. But. It's not too tough to where you like getting uh, meat stuck in your teeth and you can floss with it. <laughs> no, it's not that tough. Right. So it's like it's a medium between it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like the seasoning. It's um, I don't eat a lot of Mediterranean food, so the seasonings are new. You never taste it. <laughs> but I really do like the seasoning of this lamb, and um, I wish I could buy it and put it on some food at home. Mm. But moving along, I also had the biryani, mm. which is the version of the veggies that Robbie had mm. um, and it's squash carrots potatoes uh, it has parsley on sprinkled on top yeah and so it's pretty good um, the vegetables are very soft because I guess they got cooked for a while mm -hmm. not soft like oatmeal soft or mushy <laughs> yeah or yeah. mushy it's like a, <laughs> a really nice soft on the edge it has like a little crunch to it yeah um, it's a very light seasoning to it, so I like to add a little pink salt on it. Mm -hmm. They have it here on the tables, which mm -hmm. is nice. I don't it's great. know if any other restaurant does. It might, there pink. might be other ones, but <laughs> pink Himalayan salt. So you put that on there. Awesome. Give it a little kick. Uh, bring out some flavor a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I liked every one of these. Well, I love the chicken. I like the lamb, and I like. The biryani, mm -hmm. so yes, cool. They have it, and I like this place. It's very like on the come up. It's not like a really fancy place, so you're gonna see it grow and build and change over time. I can't wait to see it because it's good food and the vibe here is really nice. So you guys should come to check it out. Yeah, you couldn't have a nicer owner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Great. Really it's great. Good. Yeah. So I had the swordfish kebab, <laughs> and this was. Pretty amazing. Um, yes, just had to get a little. I didn't need a refresher. For I just sure. wanted to bite it again. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it was it was seasoned really really well. It had the uh, jerk seasoning on there, and it was topped with this uh, mango salsa and like red onion and tomato. And it was just it was just perfect. Like I I don't I don't. Mm -hmm. 
know how to describe it anymore. Mm -hmm. Was it was it really meaty or was it like skimpy? It was really really meaty. Mm -hmm. Like this is like the this is like the steak version for fish. This is like this is like a complete treat and like delicacy. You guys sit down like you know get all dressed up with your with your lady and then <laughs> go get some swordfish. It was great. So I loved it. Mm -hmm. Now I also had the Mediterranean rice. Mm -hmm. I think he said it has some turmeric and um, chicken broth and different kinds of Mediterranean seasons in it. And I can literally say, besides Sushi Jimmy's fried rice, this is some of the best rice mm. in Memphis, Tennessee. Mm. I love it. Ricky, nice. you are an awesome owner. Please, 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 everybody. Come out to Sean's Cafe. Yeah. Temporarily named Sean's Cafe. Or we'll be called <laughs> sooner or later Rick's. Ricky's Cafe. Or Rick's or Ricky's. Yeah. One or the other. Yeah. But um Yeah, this is just an awesome experience. In the falafel it has mint and jalapeno season. Yeah. So it's not them both are there to complement each other, neither is overpowering. So it's not too spicy to where if you don't like spicy things, you can't eat it. They play off each other really, per really well. perfectly. And I've never actually eaten something with that combination, I feel yeah. like, before. And yeah, it was never. amazing. Yeah, I want to like amazing. find it and include it in everything. Yeah, it's almost seemed like something you get on Pinterest, you know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. Was, like a mint the... jalapeno margarita. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, uh. yeah. 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 So it was, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we had an amazing time. This feast was just great. Delicious. Season mm. well. Still just, eating. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? Keep eating. <laughs> Come here and tell mm. them, tell Rick that we sent you, okay? Mm. All right. Dino One. Yes, Dino One. All right. Justin and Jaren. Justin and Jaren. And Robbie. And Robbie. Yes. For tonight. Yes, for tonight. <laughs> thank you so much, Robbie, yeah. for coming yes, out thank you. and just being on the show, showing love. It was my pleasure. Yes, yes. I appreciate it. Was it was fun. Subscribe. Share this. Like it. Like it. Love you know, it. Love tell it. Your yes. <laughs> tell your friends. New Memphis Institute. What's yeah. up? Yeah. What up, y'all? Nice. All right. Peace out, y'all. Peace.